Previously, this channel reported that between April 23 and July 8, there had been 12,762 excess deaths in England and Wales. We asked the United Kingdom government and the candidates for Prime Minister to consider whether this is an early warning of a serious danger to the health of UK citizens. This chart represents the flow of excess deaths over the time April 23 to July 8. If we now look at the updated chart for April 23 to July 22, we can see that the problem is getting increasingly worse. The total of excess deaths registered in England and Wales from April 23 to July 22 was 15,000. 555. Many people will be wondering whether this phenomenon has anything to do with COVID-19. So we decided to compare excess deaths in total with, as the ONS terms it, deaths involving COVID-19. This is the result. The blue line represents deaths involving COVID-19, while the red line represents total excess deaths. You can see the deaths involved in COVID-19 are well below total excess deaths and do not follow its pattern of progress. Perhaps the most revealing picture is shown by the number of excess deaths that did not involve COVID-19. As you can see, the flow of this graph closely resembles the overall flow of excess deaths, as represented here. And back again for deaths not involving COVID-19. In terms of number, there were 15,555 deaths in total. And while deaths involving COVID-19 form part of the total excess, there remains a large number of excess deaths that do not involve COVID-19 at all. In fact, there have been 8,915 of such excess deaths from April 23 to July 22. This channel is once more forced to ask, what is the UK government doing to investigate this potentially serious health threat to United Kingdom citizens? For perspective, the very next day after July 22, the World Health Organization declared the ongoing monkeypox outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. As of July 23, over the entire globe, there were just around 16,000 reported cases from 75 countries and only five deaths. But... For England and Wales, at that exact same point in time, the number of excess deaths that did not involve COVID-19 was 8,915. Based on that alone, the United Kingdom government should, in line with the WHO's treatment of monkeypox, declare the excess deaths of England and Wales a public health emergency of national concern. Instead, there has been a quite inexplicable silence. People are getting very worried by this public lack of recognition of the issue. Once more, this channel asks of the UK government, what are you doing? to investigate this potentially serious threat to the health of United Kingdom citizens. This community combines the topics of climate change, COVID-19 and the New World Order. If you would like to join our community, you can find us on locals.com. The New World Order order. This link will take you directly to our site.